Greetings, my name is Mary Ann Krog and I serve as the Dean of the College of Nursing at South Dakota State University. On behalf of the students, faculty, and staff of the College of Nursing, I want to welcome you to our pinning and hooding ceremony, celebrating our spring 2020 graduates. While we certainly wish we were gathered together to recognize the hard work and accomplishments of each of these students, we are glad that we are able to come together virtually to celebrate. Founded in 1881 as the state's Morrill Act land grant institution, South Dakota State University improves the quality of life through exemplary teaching, relevant research, and connected outreach. South Dakota State University is located on the ancestral territory of the Ocheti Sakawan Seven Council Fires, an alliance that consisted of the Santee, Yankton, and Teton Lakota. They are commonly known as Sioux by non-native people. The seven tribes now occupy the different reservations in South Dakota. The nine reservations are Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe, Crow Creek Sioux Tribe, Flandreau Santee Sioux Tribe, Lower Brule Sioux Tribe, Oglala Sioux Tribe, Rosebud Sioux Tribe, Sisseton Wapaton Ayate, Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, and the Yankton Sioux Tribe. This serves as a reminder that before this site was called SDSU, it was home to native nations indigenous to this location. Graduates, I want you to think back to the beginning of this semester. You probably were thinking things like, finally, my last semester, or I'm on the home stretch. I can't wait to start my career. None of us could have imagined that we'd finish this final semester remotely. I do have to say, though, that I've never had more admiration for a group of students. You all rose to the challenges placed before you with a rapid shift to online learning from home, overcoming the intricacies of virtual clinical simulation and navigating the myriad of obstacles thrown in your way throughout the semester. Because of all this, I know you will all be great nurses, educators, administrators, and clinicians. All of these roles require response to rapidly changing priorities, resilience, and flexibility all characteristics you have demonstrated admirably throughout this semester. So today, I congratulate you on your many accomplishments and wish you well as you go out into the world as proud SDSU alumni. During our ceremony, we will recognize College of Nursing graduates who will receive one of four types of degrees, the Doctor of Philosophy, the Doctor of Nursing Practice, the Master of Science, and the Bachelor of Science. Our graduate programs were established to allow bachelor's prepared nurses to pursue advanced educational degrees at the master's and doctoral levels. Doctoral and master's graduates receive a hood to acknowledge their degree completion. At this time, Dr. Melinda Tinkle, Associate Dean for Academic Programs, will join us to recognize students who have completed a graduate degree. The PhD program in the College of Nursing at South Dakota State University began in 2005. The PhD degree prepares nurse scientists who generate new knowledge with emphasis in one of three areas, health promotion and disease prevention for rural and underserved populations, nursing education, and health outcomes. The PhD in nursing graduate is prepared to advance nursing science and impact healthcare through roles in research, education, administration, and policy innovation. Dr. Brandon Verlich. Dr. Verlich received his bachelor's in nursing from Augustana University. His committee chair is Dr. Mary Isaacson and his dissertation title is Giving Voice to Adults Living with Cystic Fibrosis, a Phenomenological Study. Brandon would like to thank his mentor, Mary Isaacson, as well as his friends and family for everything they have done to support him during the PhD program. Brandon will be joining the faculty of the South Dakota State University College of Nursing later this month as an assistant professor at the Sioux Falls site. The Doctor of Nursing Practice program 
was initiated in 2009 as the terminal degree for advanced practice nursing. The DNP degree equips graduates with the skills and competencies needed for translating evidence into practice innovation, for improving systems of care, and for measuring patient outcomes in clinic, hospital, and community care settings. DMP graduates are engaged in clinical practice, leadership, healthcare policy advocacy, and scholarship. The doctorally prepared advanced practice registered nurse significantly impacts healthcare outcomes for both urban and rural residents. Our spring 2020 DMP graduates have completed coursework to prepare them in the family nurse practitioner specialty. Dr. Catherine Adela Ruth. Dr. Adela Ruth received her bachelor's degree in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her committee chair is Dr. Polly Hume. Her DNP project title is Impact on PRN Medication Use in the Inpatient Mental Health Setting. Kathy would like to thank her husband, Rusty, her daughters, Willa and Noel, and her parents for their support and unwavering confidence while completing her degree. Kathy currently works as an RN at Providence Medical Center in Wayne, Nebraska. Dr. Nicole Cotton. Dr. Cotton received her Bachelor in Nursing from South Dakota State University. Her committee chair is Dr. Cynthia Elverson. Her DNP project title is Identifying Concerns in Maternal Mental Health Using an Algorithm as a Screening Guide. Nicole would like to thank her family for their encouragement while completing her degree. She is grateful to have such love and support from her family. She is currently employed as an RN at Sanford USD Medical Center in Sioux Falls. Dr. Brett Yonke. Dr. Yonke received his Bachelor in Nursing from St. Cloud State University. His committee chair is Dr. Robin Ahrens and his DNP project title is Implementing the Clinical Institute Withdrawal Assessment for Alcohol Scale. Brett would like to acknowledge his wife and his parents for everything they have done to support him throughout his schooling. He could not have accomplished everything without them. Brett currently works as a registered nurse with CentraCare at the St. Cloud Hospital. Dr. Chelsea Jones. Dr. Jones' committee chairs are Dr. Leanne Horsley and Dr. Mary Kay Nissen. Her DMP project title is Improving Adoption of Opioid Risk Mitigation Practices. Dr. Elissa Carrolls. Dr. Carrolls received her bachelor's in nursing from Presentation College. Her committee chair is Dr. Joe Voss and her DNP project title is Impact of Infection Control Education on Gastrointestinal Endoscopy Procedural Staff. Elissa would like to thank her husband, daughter, family, and friends for their love and support with the attainment of this degree. Elissa currently works as an RN with the Mayo Clinic Health System in Mankato, Minnesota. And Alyssa received the Outstanding Graduate Nursing Student Award for Spring 2020, which was determined by a graduate faculty vote. Dr. Leah Cuny. Dr. Cuny received her Bachelor's in Nursing from the University of Sioux Falls. Her committee chair is Dr. Cynthia Elverson. Her DNP project title is Optimizing Family-Centered Care in the Pediatric ICU. Leah would like to thank her friends, family members, and most importantly, Jason, for their never-ending support and encouragement while completing her degree. Dr. Samantha Konichny. Dr. Konichny received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her committee chair is Dr. Robin Ahrens, and her DNP project title is assessment of staff comfort with a sexual assault examination after implementation of the Telesane program. Samantha thanks her husband Andrew for his unyielding love, support, and encouragement throughout this process. She could never have initiated or completed this effort without him. 
thanks to her children who have also sacrificed time with her, but enriched her purpose. An immense thank you to her project chair, Dr. chair Dr. Robin Ahrens, for her knowledge and mentoring. And Samantha currently works as an RN in the emergency department at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls. Dr. Janelle Chris. Dr. Chris received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her committee chair is Dr. Brandy Prevacek. Her DMP project title is The Implementation of Mock Code Simulations Guided by Team Steps 2.0 Curriculum to Improve Nurses' Attitudes Towards Teamwork and Team Performance During Cardiac Arrest. Janelle would like to thank her parents and husband for their support while completing her degree and her son Briggs for being her daily motivation. Janelle works currently as an RN in the emergency department at Avera Sacred Heart in Yankton. Dr. Lindsay Palmer. Dr. Palmer received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her committee chairs are Dr. Mary Isaacson and Dr. Mary Kay Nissen. Her DMP project title is Decreasing Oncology Patient Stress Through Implementation of an Education Checklist. Lindsay would like to thank her husband, family, and friends for their support while completing her degree. She is currently applying for positions as a nurse practitioner in South Dakota while continuing to work as an RN in the Oncology and Transplant Unit at Avera McKinnon. Dr. Jody Peterson. Dr. Peterson received her Bachelor in Nursing from South Dakota State University. Her committee chair is Dr. Brandy Prevacek, and her DMP project title is In-School Influenza Vaccinations, a quality improvement project to improve influenza vaccination availability in school-aged children in a rural community. Jody would like to thank her family, friends, and classmates, and professors for helping her achieve her goal of becoming an FNP. Your help was invaluable and highly appreciated. Jody currently splits her time working in the emergency department at Avera Sacred Heart Hospital in Yankton and Avera Education and Staffing Solutions. Dr. Abby Stice. Dr. Stice received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her committee chairs are Dr. Mary Isaacson and Dr. Mary Kay Nissen. Her DMP project title is Improving Emergency Nurses Perceived Comfort When Communicating with Patients and Families About Palliative or End-of-Life Care and Methodology. Abby would like to thank her family and friends for all of their love and support throughout the DMP program. Thank you to all the great faculty at SDSU. Abby plans to seek employment as a nurse practitioner in the great state of South Dakota. She is currently employed as an emergency department resource nurse in Watertown. Dr. Mackenzie Turfer. Dr. Turfer received her bachelor's in nursing from Presentation College. Her committee chair is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Her DMP project title is Comprehensive Sex Education to Improve Sexually Transmitted Infection and Disease Knowledge Base and Decision Making in Adolescents. McKenzie would like to thank her family and friends for their love, support, and encouragement while completing her degree. McKenzie currently works as an RN with Mayo Clinic Health Systems in Fairmont, Minnesota. SDSU College of Nursing graduates who have completed the requirements for the Master of Science degree have chosen to specialize as a nurse educator, nurse administrator, clinical nurse leader, or family nurse practitioner. These graduates provide leadership in applying advanced knowledge to impact healthcare delivery and improve patient outcomes through their roles in clinical practice, education, and administration. Heidi Barber. Heidi received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her master's specialization is family nurse practitioner and her faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Heidi would like to thank her family, especially her husband, for supporting and encouraging her while completing her degree. Heidi plans to work in a rural community as a family nurse practitioner in South Dakota. 
Ephraim Bajiga. Ephraim received his bachelor's in nursing from the University of South Dakota. His master's specialization is family nurse practitioner, and his faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Ephraim would like to thank his spouse, Zahara Mohammed, son, Aman Ephraim, daughter, Hawani Ephraim, and his friend, Bedulu Nigel, for their encouragement and support while completing his degree. Ephraim currently works at the Select Specialty Hospital in Sioux Falls as an RN. Lucinda Doyle. Lucinda received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her master's specialization is family nurse practitioner and nurse educator. Her faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Cindy would like to thank her husband, Sean, her family, and her friends for their unending support and encouragement during this journey. I would not be successful without you. Cindy will start her career as a nurse practitioner in the emergency department at the Huron Regional Medical Center. Megan Epp. Megan received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her master's specialization is family nurse practitioner and her faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Megan would like to thank her family and friends for all their support over the past three years. She could not have done it without them. Alexis Frankhauser. Alexis received her Bachelor in Nursing from South Dakota State University. Her Master's Specialization is Family Nurse Practitioner, and her faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Alexis would like to thank her family, friends, and Chad for their love and support during her time in grad school. She's excited for her new adventure in Colorado. She will be working as a neurohospitalist advanced practice provider with the UC Health in Colorado Springs. Kelsey Grimsrud. Kelsey received her bachelor in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her master's specialization is family nurse practitioner. Her faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. And Kelsey would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing her degree. Gina Grunwald. Gina received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her master's specialization is family nurse practitioner. And her faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Gina would like to thank her husband and family for their love and support throughout graduate school. She's looking forward to enjoying the summer with her husband and son, Max. Tyler Hansen. Tyler received his bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. His master's specialization is family nurse practitioner and his faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Tyler would like to thank his wife, Leah, and his family for all of their support and encouragement while completing his degree. Joshua Hoffman. Joshua received his bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. His master's specialization is family nurse practitioner and his faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Josh would like to thank his family for all of their help and support as he completed his degree. Caitlin Johnston. Caitlin received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her master's specialization is family nurse practitioner, and her faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Caitlin would like to thank her parents, Adam, and their families for the unwavering support and encouragement throughout this journey. She couldn't have done it without you all. Michelle Mayer. Michelle received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her master's specialization is family nurse practitioner, and her faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Michelle would like to thank her family for the support they provided during this entire process. She currently works for the Pennington County Sheriff's Office. Brooke Monk. Brooke received her bachelor's in nursing from the University of Sioux Falls. Her master's specialization is family nurse practitioner, 
and her faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Brooke would like to thank her family for their support while completing her degree. She would especially like to thank her husband, Preston, for being her strength and helping raise their two beautiful children, Kendall and Walker. Samuel Newenhouse. Samuel received his bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. His master's specialization is family nurse practitioner his faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Sam would like to thank his wife for her support and courage through the last three years of school and starting a family together. Michael Quinlevin. Michael received his bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. His master's specialization is family nurse practitioner and his faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Michael would like to thank his family and friends for their support while completing his degree. Robert Safer. Robert received his bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. His master's specialization is family nurse practitioner and his faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens. Robert would like to thank his family and friends for all their support that they have given him especially his wife, Danielle, and two sons, Liam and Oliver. Kelly Wharton. Kelly received her associates in nursing from Rasmussen College, her bachelor's in nursing from University of Sioux Falls, and her master's specialization is in family nurse practitioner. Her faculty advisor is Dr. Robin Ahrens, and Kelly would like to thank her family and friends for the unwavering love and support throughout the last three years. It's time to celebrate. Kelly currently works at Sanford USD Medical Center in the Emergency Department as a Charge RN and Staff RN. Congratulations to all our graduate students for their hard work and accomplishments. As we move into the next portion of our program, we will recognize students who have completed the requirements to earn their bachelor's degree in nursing and have received their nursing pin. The pin is an important symbol to nurses. No two schools have the same pin. Wearing it will distinguish you as graduates of the College of Nursing at South Dakota State University. The nursing pin for SDSU includes the seal of the state of South Dakota. The Bachelor of Science in Nursing was first offered at SDSU in 1935 as a post-licensure program for graduates of hospital-based diploma programs and over time has evolved to include a number of options for students to earn a Bachelor of Science degree. Students receiving their nursing pins have completed the requirements of a Bachelor of Science degree by completing coursework as part of either the online RN to BSN program or standard option programs in Brookings or Rapid City. Joining us to recognize the graduates from the Bachelor of Science graduates are Assistant Deans for Brookings and Rapid City sites, Dr. Karen Emery and Dr. Christina Plemons. The RN to BSN program at SDSU, also known as RN Upward Mobility was established in 1977 and in 2001 became the first baccalaureate degree completion program offered at SDSU. The RNs in this program have earned a diploma or an associate's degree in nursing are licensed practicing RNs who have completed the requirements for the Bachelor of Science with a major in nursing. Francis Bierman, Shannon Carlson, Shannon would like to thank her family for all the support while completing the RN to BSN program. She worked at Central Minnesota Mental Health Center while completing her degree and will continue to work there after graduation. Jenny Damata, Jennifer Erdman, Amanda Earhart, Reese Evans, Christy Gonzalez, Christy would like to thank her friends and family for their support during her journey in school, especially her son, Xavian, for being her rock and inspiration. Christy works in the cardiology utilization management for Evelyn Health in Brea, California. Kelly Hesch, Charles Hilding, 
Charles wants to thank his wife for all of her expertise in keeping him focused on his studies. He currently works for the state of South Dakota at the State Penitentiary in Sioux Falls. Haley Hovland. Haley would like to thank her husband and kids for their support while completing her BSN. Haley is employed at Sanford Children's Hospital in Fargo, North Dakota. Elizabeth Howe. Elizabeth would like to thank her family, friends, and current employer Sanford Health in Sioux Falls for their support and flexibility shown while taking the time to complete her BSN degree. She plans to use her degree working as a clinical supervisor at an outpatient specialty clinic, as well as a school nurse in her hometown. Melanie Johnson, Dana McDonald, Crystal Miner, Allison Muhlenberg, Rochelle Ohm, Samantha O'Neill, Taylor Rolk, Taylor would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing her nursing major. Following graduation, Taylor will be working in the ICU for Mercy One Medical Center in Sioux City, Iowa. Rebecca Rose, Alejandra Rubio, Tate Scotting. Please join me in congratulating our RNDBSN Spring 20 graduates. The Bachelor of Science program, now known as the Standard Option, was established in 1952. Students in this program have completed an undergraduate degree in a four-year program model built on a strong foundation of prerequisite coursework in arts and sciences and followed by five semesters of nursing coursework with hands-on simulation and clinical experiences. Our first group of standard option graduates are members of the Brookings cohort. Megan Albertson. Megan would like to thank her family and her fiance for their continuous love and support throughout the most important parts of her life. Megan will begin her RN career with Rapid City's Monument Health, working in the ortho neurosurgical unit. Lucas Anderson. Lucas would like to extend gratitude to all family, friends, and supporters for sticking by his side to accomplish the goal of healing. He is excited to start working for Sanford Hospital in Sioux Falls, where he will be in the neonatal intensive care unit. Stephanie Arndt. Stephanie would like to thank her family and friends for their continuous love, support, and encouragement while completing her nursing major. Stephanie will begin her RN career in the emergency department at Sanford Medical Center in Sioux Falls. Liz Bell. Liz would like to thank her family, friends, and SDSU faculty who have contributed to her success throughout her journey at SDSU, especially to her family that tolerated countless venting calls, pretending to understand her medical jargon, and to her mother-in-law for the large amounts of sweets to get her through the endless hours of studying. Following graduation, Liz will be employed by Brookings Health System in their medical surgical unit. Kiani Bills. Kiani would like to thank her family, friends, and faculty for their support while studying at South Dakota State University. She is excited to begin her career in the surgical renal unit with Sanford USD Medical Center and Hospital in Sioux Falls. Jordan Borboom. Jordan would like to thank her family and friends for all their support throughout nursing school. Jordan is hoping to find an RN position in Sioux Falls at a clinic or assisted living facility. Sarah Bowhen. Sarah would like to thank the university, her family and friends, and her professors for their unwavering support while completing her BSN nursing major. Sarah is hoping for a job opportunity in NICU. Allie Bottleberg. Allie would like to thank her family, friends, and fiance for their love and support during the last four years. She has accepted a position on the medical surgical floor of Avera Marshall Regional Medical Center. Morgan Carmody. Morgan would like to thank her family, friends, and classmates for all of their help and support throughout nursing school. Morgan is looking forward to beginning her career in cardiology and birthplace, working for Sanford USD Medical Center. Cheyenne Christensen. Cheyenne would like to thank her family and friends that continue to believe in her and support her along the way. Cheyenne will be relocating to Fargo 
and will be employed by the Sanford Medical Center and work on the Med Surge float team. Carly Clemen. Carly would like to thank her family, friends, and fiance for their constant love and support. She is also grateful for everyone involved in the Newman Center and Dance Minor Program for the community and encouragement. Carly has accepted a position at Avera McKinnon in surgery. Melissa DeCook. Melissa would like to thank her family for their encouragement to follow her dreams of travel nursing, along with the nursing professors and clinical teachers for their support. Melissa has accepted a position with Monument Health Hospital in Rapid City. She will be working in the RN float pool. Tierney Donovan. Tierney would like to thank her family and friends for their endless encouragement, constant support, unconditional love, and for always providing endless amounts of coffee. She is excited to begin her career in Eagle Butte, working for IHS as an outpatient nurse. Odwak Essien. Odwak would like to thank God, family, and friends for being supportive of her throughout this journey in nursing school. She wouldn't have got here without your prayers and encouragement. She plans to work in the ER or ICU. Bergen Forst. Bergen would like to thank her family and friends for their support and prayers while she was completing the nursing major. Bergen is planning to be employed in Minnesota. Josh Fries. Josh would like to thank his wife, Carly, as well as his family and friends for their continued encouragement throughout the process of completing nursing school. He hopes to be at work in med surge. Sydney Gall. Sydney wouldn't be here without her motto, study hard today, save lives tomorrow, or without her family and friends. She is thankful for their continuous support, encouragement, and love. Sydney has accepted a registered nurse position at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls on the cardiology pulmonary unit. Eskinder Gedahoon. Eskinder would like to thank his mom, family, and friends for their support in his journey of completing his nursing degree. He begins his next adventure at Sanford Health in the pulmonary unit. Seth Gottfrich. Seth would like to say thank you to his friends and family for their constant support and his fiance Carly for her enduring love and encouragement to actually study. Seth has accepted a position in the oncology and transplant unit at Avera McKinnon following graduation. Elizabeth Grabowska. Elizabeth would like to thank her family and fiance for all their support while completing the nursing program. She will begin her RN career in medical surgical pediatric for Avera St. Luke's Hospital in Aberdeen. Allison Grandstrand. Allison would like to thank her family and friends for their support during her time spent completing her nursing major. Allison will begin her RN career with Mayo Clinic in Rochester where she will be working in cardiac CCU. Anna Hahn. Anna would like to thank her family and friends for their inspiration, support, and unconditional love while completing the nursing program. She'll be working in the Child Adolescent Program in Behavioral Health for Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls. Shaylee Hanning. Shaylee would like to thank her family for pushing her to do her best in school and helping make her dreams of becoming a nurse come true. She loves you all. Shaley will be traveling between Sioux Falls, Bismarck, and Fargo in the Sanford Center Resource Pool as a travel nurse. Wyatt Heason. Wyatt would like to thank his family and friends for their love and support while completing the nursing major. He has accepted a position in the NICU for Sanford and Sioux Falls. Jordan Hellman. Jordan would like to thank her family and friends for their support and prayers while completing nursing school. Jordan will begin her RN career in the float pool for Mayo Clinic Health Systems in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Sydney Hershoff. Sydney would like to thank her mom for inspiring her to become a nurse and for her family for supporting her throughout this journey. Sydney is excited to start her RN career at Sanford's Cardiovascular Unit. Skylar Hochstein. 
Skylar would like to thank her parents for enduring countless rants over the phone, her friends for participating in the stress-induced ice cream runs, and the essential oils that went above and beyond, and finally, Kathy Parks. Haley Hofer. Haley would like to thank her family and friends for the constant love and support over the last four years, especially through nursing school. Haley will be working for Monument Health in Lee Deadwood. Haley was named the Outstanding Rural Nurse Fellow from Brookings. Sasha Hokinson. Sasha would like to thank her friends and family for their love and support these last four years as she completed the nursing major. Sasha will begin in her RN career working in medical oncology and pediatric pediatric oncology for Stanford Health in Sioux Falls. Shelby Huth. Shelby would like to thank her parents and family for supporting her throughout anything and everything. She doesn't know where her new journey will take her or what unit she'll be on, but she's excited to meet and help the lives of her future patients. Heather Hoy. Heather would like to thank her family, friends, and classmates for continued support, encouragement, and guidance while completing the nursing major. She's looking forward to her position in pediatrics with Sanford Hospital in Sioux Falls. Ashley Just. Ashley would like to thank her family and friends for the unconditional love and support throughout nursing school. Following graduation, Ashley will be employed by Sanford and working in the NICU and emergency departments. Caroline Kiefer. Caroline is eager to begin her career as a labor and delivery nurse. She would like to thank her friends for the memories and her family for their unwavering support and love. The best is yet to come. Hannah Kilker. Hannah would like to thank her family, fiance, friends, and the College of Nursing faculty and staff for their endless support and encouragement throughout her journey in nursing school. She is excited to start in the intensive care unit of Sanford USD Medical Center. Hannah was named the recipient of the Mary Adams Outstanding Student Nurse Award in Brookings. Tyra Knobloch. Tyra would like to thank everyone who has encouraged and supported her throughout education. Tyra has accepted a position in acute care and outpatient services with Hug Health Center in Rock Valley, Iowa. Elizabeth Knutson. Elizabeth would like to thank her parents, siblings, and husband for giving her the endless amount of support during nursing school. Elizabeth will work at Sanford in Sioux Falls as an operating room nurse. Caitlin Kurzmarzik. Caitlin would like to thank her family, friends, and coffee for all the support while completing the nursing program. She will start her new career in nursing and pediatrics for a Vera McKinnon Hospital in Sioux Falls. Mira Kolda. Mira would like to thank her family and friends for their support throughout nursing school. She couldn't have completed her dream of becoming a nurse without their love and support. After graduation, Mira will be working on an oncology and inpatient hospice unit at Methodist Hospital in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Megan Laverne. Megan would like to thank her family and friends for their endless support and encouragement. Without them, this wouldn't have been possible. She has accepted a position in the PICU for Sanford and Sioux Falls. Victoria Lynch. Victoria would like to thank her family and friends for their unwavering support and encouragement as she worked to complete the nursing major. Following graduation, she will be working in surgery for Sanford Health in Sioux Falls. Dana Madsen. Dana would like to give a special thank you to her friends, family, and especially her mom for unconditional support through the years. She could have not done it without you. Dana accepted a position at Avera McKinnon in inpatient rehab. Toby Malman. Toby thanks his family and friends for their continued support. He has become a better person and learned many life lessons through nursing school. Toby will begin his nursing career at the medical ICU at Aurora Sinai Medical Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Julia Marshall. Julia would like to thank her family and friends for their support throughout her time at SDSU while completing the nursing major. Griffin Metz. 
Griffin would like to thank his parents for all their support and the friends he has made in the faculty at the College of Nursing. He is looking forward to working in the cardiopulmonary unit for Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls. Stephanie Neumeister. Stephanie would like to thank everyone who helped her reach her dreams of completing school and becoming an RN at Sanford Children's Hospital in Sioux Falls. She could have not done it without the support of her family and friends during these past four years, especially from her parents, Stephen and Deb. She is excited to start her next step as, as an RN at the Sanford Children's Hospital. Ambles Nwame. Ambles would like to thank her family and friends who are part of her journey to a successful completion of the nursing program. Anna Odens. Anna would like to thank her family for their constant support and her friends for their we will get through this attitude, comedic relief, and true friendship. She's accepted a position in the ICU with Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls. Tiana Paradise. Tiana would like to thank the outstanding friends and family that have helped her study, answered the many phone calls, and gave endless words of support throughout nursing school. She will be working in oncology and transplant for Avera and Sioux Falls. Grace Pelowitz. Grace would like to thank her family, friends, and fiance Andrew for their support, love, and shoulders to cry on throughout nursing school. Emily Prill. Emily would like to thank her fiance, family, and friends for all their support throughout nursing school. After graduation, Emily plans to return home to Mitchell to begin her nursing career. Caitlin Renicki. Caitlin would like to thank her fiance and family for their continued support throughout her education in the nursing program. She is excited for the next chapter of her life where she will be working in the medical surgical floor at Sanford Aberdeen Medical Center. Jaden Rudebush. Jaden would like to thank her family and friends for their endless support while completing the nursing program. After graduation, she will be working as a full-time nurse for Sanford Health on the cardiology unit. Michaela Restand. Michaela would like to thank her family for all their love and support and especially her friends for tolerating any bad puns. Michaela is excited to start her nursing career with Sanford. She will be working in surgical cardiovascular. Caitlin Schmeichel. Caitlin would like to first and foremost recognize God for his blessing. She sincerely thanks her instructors for their extreme patience, her family and friends for answering the crying, stressed out phone calls, her friend Liz for forcing her to study, and lastly, her fiance Michael for keeping her from insanity. Caitlin will begin her career at Avera McKinnon in cardiovascular pulmonary. Kayla Snow. Kayla would like to thank her family and friends for the never-ending love and support while completing the nursing major. She looks forward to be working at Avera Brain and Spine. Hannah Stein. Hannah would like to thank her family and friends for their unending love, encouragement, and advice throughout her academic career. Following graduation, Hannah will begin her RN career at Sanford in pulmonary. Callie Stout. Callie would like to thank her family and friends for their support and encouragement throughout her journey of completing the nursing program. Callie is looking forward to her new RN position in labor and delivery at Avera St. Mary's in Pier. Cassidy Stratman. Cassidy thanks her family, friends, boyfriend, and each person that has been part of her journey and continued to shape her into the person that she is today. Cassidy's next step in her journey will be Avera McKinnon working on One West Surgical Trauma. Carly Tangen. Carly would like to thank her family and friends and SDSU faculty for their support during her time at SDSU. She is grateful for the opportunity to go through such an esteemed program. Carly has accepted a position in Fargo, North Dakota with Sanford Medical Center and Medical Surgical Trauma. Bailey Tenhagen. Bailey would like to say thank you to her family and friends for their continued support, prayers, and encouraging words throughout her time in nursing school. She couldn't have done it without you. Bailey has accepted a position at Avera in Sioux Falls on One West, the surgical trauma floor. Christopher Tiernan. Christopher would like to thank their biological family as well as their chosen family for all the love and support over the past few years. 
Christopher would like to acknowledge the indigenous population that deserves sovereignty of this land, government, and resources. We celebrate our success today on blood-soaked soil. Never forget, period. Upon graduation, Christopher is planning to relocate to San Francisco in pursuit of a career in obstetric nursing. Kennedy Teets. Kennedy would like to extend her gratitude and love to her faith, family, and friends for their endless love and support. She's excited to start her new RN position with the Vera Hart Hospital in Sioux Falls. Erica Weber. Erica would like to thank her parents for their endless support through college, Steve and Jody for being her Brookings grandparents, and her nursing crew for keeping her laughing every day. Erica is counting down the days until she starts her dream job working in the NICU at the Children's Hospital of Omaha. Dax Weeblehouse. Dax says, later gang, see you on the flip side. Lauren Wilkie. Lauren would like to thank her family for their support and encouragement throughout nursing school, especially her grandma Louise, who is constantly reminding her that she is praying that she passes every test. Lauren has accepted a position working on the Women's and Children's Unit at Faith Regional Health Services in Norfolk, Nebraska. Congratulations to our Spring 2020 graduating cohort from Brookings. Our final group of standard option graduates are members of the Rapid City cohort. Hannah Anderson. Hannah would like to thank her parents, Greg and Amy, her brother and sister-in-law, and all her family and friends for their support over the last two and a half years. Hannah will be working in the postpartum unit at Monument Health Rapid City Hospital. Samantha Ashland. Samantha would like to thank her family and friends for their support. She would also like to thank her classmates for sticking together through it all. She says, we have finally reached the light at the end of the tunnel. Jace Osman. Jace would like to thank her family, friends, faculty, and classmates who supported her throughout this journey. She couldn't have done it without all of you. Jace will be working in the inpatient department at Cheyenne River Health Center in Eagle Butte, South Dakota. JC Bailey. JC would like to thank everyone at the College of Nursing Rapid City site. Without everyone's continuous support and encouragement, the class of 2020 would not be where they are today. She would like to give a big thank you to the amazing faculty that have gone above and beyond to help her every step of the way. And thank you to her family for teaching her how to work hard and strive to be better every day. Myra Boyd. Myra would like to thank her husband, family, and friends for their ongoing love and support throughout this journey. She has formed many lifelong friendships and has learned something from each of you. She would also like to thank the faculty for all their guidance along the way and wish all of her classmates the best. Cheers to the class of 2020. Pratalyn Cardenas. To her husband. Thank you for believing in her, for the words of encouragement, and for always being so understanding. She wouldn't have made it this far without you. To her mother and father-in-law, thank you for your patience and understanding. Thank you for sacrificing being together so that she could pursue her dreams. She is so lucky to have both of you in her life. To her mom, Thank you for having her back and for always being there for her even when you're 1,000 miles away. And finally, to her son. She would have quit a long time ago if you hadn't existed. She hopes that mommy has made you proud. She loves you, son. To SDSU and all their staff, she wouldn't be where she is today if you hadn't believed in her ability as a future nurse. Thank you. Matthew Davalos. Matthew would like to thank medical science and the doctors who saved his life so he could get to this point. Thank you to his wife, family, and friends for supporting him through the world's longest college career. 
onward to the pediatrics unit at Monument Health Rapid City Hospital. He adds, let's get the bread. Jessica Drabland. Jess would like to thank her husband, Mark, children, Sydney and Landon, and family for their support, patience, and understanding during her time at South Dakota State University. Megan Eilers. Megan would like to thank her family, friends, and boyfriend for supporting her throughout her long journey. She formed many lifelong relationships and knows they will continue throughout her nursing career. She would not be here without her amazing support system. Megan will begin her career at Monument Health in Rapid City on the Mother Baby Unit. Here's to us, Class of 2020. Joshua Fanning. Josh would like to thank his dad, Forrest, his mothers, Andrea and Anna, and all of his family and friends for helping him complete this journey. Lacey Farley. Lacey would like to thank her mom, dad, brother, and Ira for helping her get through nursing school by being there for her every day. Due to her great support of family, friends, and coworkers, she accepted the position of an ortho-neurosurgical nurse at Monument Health Rapid City Hospital. Allison Gorder. Allison would like to thank her wonderful family and friends for the unending love, support, and motivation to keep going. Allison has accepted a registered nurse position in labor and delivery at Monument Health Rapid City Hospital. She is excited to join the amazing team of nurses and get to coach, empower, and care for women through one of the most special experiences of their lives. Sandra Lynn Grunig. Sandra would like to thank her husband for his undying support during this course of study. He has never left her side through the worst of times. She will be working in the float pool at Monument Health Rapid City Hospital. Sandra feels a sense of accomplishment from graduating from one of the toughest programs there is. Molly Herrera. Molly would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her through her time in nursing school. She couldn't have done it without them. Although Molly is uncertain as to what area she will be working in, her hope is to eventually work in gerontology as she enjoys caring for our elderly population. Matthew Kanowski. Matthew would like to thank his family and friends. He plans to work as a nurse. Matthew was named the recipient of the Mary Adams Outstanding Nurse Award at the Rapid City site and was also awarded the Commitment to Caring Award. Kaylee Kerstad. Kaylee would like to thank her family and friends who have shown nothing but guidance and support throughout the past years. Kaylee would also like to thank her classmates and the faculty for the lessons, tears, and laughter. She wishes her classmates nothing but the best in the upcoming future as new nurses. Kaylee will begin her career at Cheyenne River Health Center in Eagle Butte, South Dakota. Molly Lossing. Molly would like to thank her family for all their love and support throughout this journey. She would like to thank her fiance for his love and support too. Molly and her fiance are moving to Honolulu, Hawaii this summer to start their careers. Michael Lewis. Michael is very grateful for his family and friends for all the support over the years. Getting through nursing school was incredibly stressful, but his fiance Demi always manages to keep them on the right track. Their family adventures are only beginning. Michael is the recipient of the Student Nurses Association Community Award. Allison Meyer. Allison would like to thank her parents for the constant support throughout her college experience. 
She will be starting her nursing career at Monument Health Rapid City Hospital in the Women's and Children's Float Pool. Tiffany Peterson. Tiffany would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her throughout nursing school. She would especially like to thank her parents, Tal and Sherry, and her boyfriend, Jeremy, for continually encouraging her. The hard work and dedication that she has put in makes her very proud to reach this milestone. Tiffany has happily accepted a position at the Spearfish Orthopedic Clinic and is eager to start. She is excited for all her future endeavors. Alexis Powell. Alexis would like to thank her parents and her brother for their constant support over the last two and one half years. Whether it be an exam that she had coming up or a checkoff, she knew that she had encouragement and prayers coming her way from her entire family. Alexis also wants to thank her instructors and classmates who pushed her to persevere and do her best every step of the way. Alexis will be working at Monument Health Spearfish Hospital in labor and delivery following graduation. Alexis is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Rapid City. Sarah Rauch. Sarah would like to thank her parents and brother for their constant support over the last two and a half years. Sarah also wants to thank her instructors and peers who pushed her to persevere and do her best every step of the way. Sarah will be working at Avera McKinnon Hospital in the Brain and Spine Neurology Unit following graduation. Demi Reeser. Demi would like to thank her children, Zoe and Auden, for being patient and understanding during this journey. She would also like to thank her fiance, Michael Lewis, for encouraging and supporting her every day. She adds, we have all made sacrifices to be here today. I love you all. Demi has received the Student Nurses Association Commitment Award. Emily Roan. Emily would like to thank her husband, her family and friends, and Jesus. She is planning to work on the medical surgical floor at Monument Health Spearfish Hospital. Marie Sadler. Marie thanks her family, and especially Bobby and Emily, for their patience and support. Lilia Sears. Lilia would like to thank her family, friends, and all faculty members for being there with her through this journey. Melissa Sletten. Melissa would like to thank her family for their constant support and motivation. Melissa would also like to thank her peers and professors for making this journey one to remember. Melissa will be working at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls on the Surgical Cardiovascular Unit. Laurie Stevens. Laurie would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her through nursing school. She says, we all know it was not easy. Laurie will be working in the emergency department in Eagle Butte, South Dakota, and will continue work at Fall River Health Services in Hot Springs, South Dakota. She sends congratulations to her fellow classmates and best wishes. Lorraine Sweetman. Lori would like to thank her parents, John and Lisa, her son, Bentley, her boyfriend, Alex, and all her family and friends who supported her. Lori will be working as a medical surgical critical care nurse in Minnesota. Lori's final thoughts on nursing. I didn't know it was possible to drink this much coffee and still be exhausted. It was worth it. Lindsay Swenson. Lindsay would like to thank her family for supporting and encouraging her throughout nursing school. She would also like to thank her professors and friends for all their encouragement during nursing school. Lindsay is planning to work as a pediatric mental health nurse. Alexandria Wang. 
congratulations to our Rapid City Standard Option Class of 2020. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the achievements of the spring 2020 graduates from the College of Nursing at South Dakota State University.